And for our first category, we have the IOCC C Prize in Murky Waters. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. It's kind of murky. Um, Very murky. Yes, I will say our prizes we come. We have a fun time once we know um, um, you know, that, that it's a winning entry. We then have to try to come up with our own prize there, and we have fun. And this one, um, this one's this one surprised us. It's a bit murky, uh, and you're probably thinking, "Is this my submission? Did I have anything with waters or murky? What's going on?" Um, but without further ado, let's actually reveal who won. The Owsie Prize in Murky Waters. And the IOCC Prize in Murky Waters goes to Adrian Cable from the United States. Well, congratulations, Adriel, uh, Adrian. Um, this is Adrian's fourth uh, C contest uh, win. Um, he had a uh, hat trick in 2013, including an amazing best of show. And this particular uh, thing was was a surprise. We, as Leo said, we, we look at the code and we looked at this code and said, hmm, is this person trolling us? What's 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 and you know, I say, well, what do you mean? Well, first of all, let's look at how you compile this this uh, code. And I will point out here that what you'll see is the um, we we are going to show you with um, all warning turned on and all pedantic turned on. So the most extreme uh, of the set. So these things here you'll see afterwards are ways to essentially silence really pedantic uh, over the top warnings. Um, they're not a they're not a detriment to the submission. Um, so in some ways you can sort of ignore that stuff. Um, we're, it, we mostly compile with GNU 17 at the moment, but there's other submissions that have a different uh, many. Um, and of course, so, it's, so basically, you just compile the program uh, standard way. So when we looked at this thing in the editor, um, this is what we saw. So I will invite the, uh, the, the chat to look at this piece of code. This is the source code. Um, you see, and in, 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 this is the VM editor with a nice little colored thing, and 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 figure out what does this program do? Because you look at there, we have this grill that's defined and undefined, and then for some reason it's defined and undefined again. We got this main with this loop down here. We got this thing out here, but that's just a a a a salmon is very yummy. Uh, um, now. Uh, you might say, well, what's what's going on here? What, so, so what does the chat think this code when compiled will do? I don't know what the chat thinks, but I think that they won, and there's a fish, so clearly they were fishing for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so if we look at next and say, okay, one thing we'll we'll do as well is we'll have Clang format take a look at the code, because sometimes Clang format people will twist their code. Um, they'll write it in a deceptive way or via this code blob. So Clang Format is going to try to untangle it. And when Clang Format um, runs, we actually see that it's not just is very yummy, but but several strings can end it. Now, you may not be familiar with this U qualifier. Uh, Leo, you want to tell them what the U qualifier of a string does? Yeah, so the capital U qualifier means that this string is supposed to be represented as UTF. 32, uh, which means that every Unicode character uses four bytes. Yes. So we saw that that playing added some more empty strings before is very yummy. We also see now that grill is defined with this putchar or salmon, right? Now remember salmon's an array of, of ints and putchar outputs the lower byte. Um, but of course, grill is defined and undefined, and we have this loop, which appears to, at first glance, say it's just say one times one equals one, two times two equals four, three times three equals nine, etc. Um, and again, look at you say, is this person trolling us? Well, let me well, yes, uh, <laughs> let me say I, I have I have my eye on the chat. So anybody have a, a 
a guess as to what this code might do before we show it? And people say it's fishy. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. It is fishy. Um, let me know when I when it's safe to to move on the next one. Or people give up. I don't see any guesses, so I guess that means we, we can yeah. we can show them. Okay, so so we are now submitting, you know, releasing um, winning entries with a try.sh script, which does the basically run things. It helps you run. You can you could read our comments uh, and, and remarks about how to do it. But this is a basic thing of, of it gives you the easy way to do it. So when you run the try.sh script, it runs a program and it prints for those that are listening. Season salmon fillets with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, salt, pepper, and then grill over medium heat for four to six minutes per side until flaky and cooked through. It's black magic. And and yes, that's a that is a general recipe for or for for cooking salmon, but where did that string come from? I'm pretty sure from a salmon of doubt. Because <laughs> uh, I bet, I bet you, unless Adrian's in the chat uh, spoiling the surprise, that people didn't say this thing prints a salmon recipe because um, it's very murky. So uh, Leo had the idea because we're sitting there confused saying what where does this thing come from what's going on here look back to the entry look back at clang format and then Leo said let's let's use cat minus v v for victor uh, it's an argument to cat that deals with unprintable characters and this is what you see when you when you look at the code with cat minus v yes so and, uh, here go ahead here the magic characters that are used are so-called uh, let ta unicode tag symbols, which are normally ignored by uh, any editor or text renderer, but when they are represented as 32-bit uh, numbers, the least significant byte of each is the actual ASCII code of the letter, the tag of which they represent. So every editor will display them as nothing, but they are present in the string. And uh, if you look at every fourth byte, there will be exactly the letter that needs to be printed. And also, if you look at the defined grill, there are two different defines. And uh, it's possible now to include Unicode characters in C identifiers. And yes, identifiers may contain just of the Unicode characters, even the invisible ones. So that undef grill doesn't do anything at all because grill's never been defined. And if you look now at the main, you see that it has this macro in it, which is part of this thing, which is causes it to print the loop and then terminate. It's so very this, sneaky. The for loop is never printed. <laughs> the magic occurs in here, which again, if you look at what it does, it prints that message. So definitely, I, 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 you had us fooled um and it took us a while to figure out <laughs> where these characters are coming from and uh it's it's a it's a very clever a clever hack and uh, well done uh Adrian. thanks for watching and before you go please like and subscribe and check out the social media links in the description below and if you like you can support us on patreon to help us bring you new content so you may enjoy our favorite universe even more